Hey Capricorn, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Much appreciated. Happy birthday, Cappies. I hope you guys had great holidays if you celebrate. Coming up on the new year, hope you're ready for your brand new cycle. Um, I'm hoping you guys are tying up loose ends and getting ready to jump into a brand new cycle with everyone else. We're all going into a big cycle together. So, for those of you who are having a birthday right now, happy birthday. You guys get to go first. This is going to be, I'm going to do January 1st through 11th because January 1st only gives us like a few days into the week since it starts on a Wednesday. So, we're going to go right to the 11th. So, this is going to be your reading for January 1st to the 11th. All right. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Please bring through the messages for Capricorn. Anyone with Capricorn placements who's guided to see this reading on YouTube, please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most that will be guided here to watch this reading for January 1st through the 11th, 2020. New year, right guys? Exciting. Please let us know what are, what are the most important messages you have for anyone with Capricorn placement. Remember guys, sometimes I'm talking to the cross watchers, so you might need to flip this energy however it works for you. If you're a cross watcher, you might have to flip the whole story, or I could be talking directly to you. Alright, so you guys, that's your job on that end, okay? So for Capricorn, what do we need to know January 1st through the 11th, 2020? Aha, uh -huh. beautiful. Capricorns are manifesting. They're seeing things clearly. Really nice. All right, what else do we need to know for Capricorns here? Capricorn. Anything else for Capricorn here for January 1st through the 11th, 2020? One more card for Capricorn. All right. Let's take a little look. Yeah, well, Capricorn, the only thing I see here that's major um, with your reading is that right now you're feeling really drained. I mean, you have your Nine of Pentacles and your Ten of Pentacles both in reverse. This affects your money, okay, or your stability, your foundation. I always tell everyone when it comes to Ten of Pentacles, for me, it's whatever you consider your foundation, whatever you think you, your stability is. Is your stability and your foundation your home, your family? Is it your job? Is it your money? But with the Nine of Pentacles with it, I'm tending to believe for some of you, this is something that affects your money. All right, so let's see where you're coming from here. Three of Wands, Hermit in Reverse, Nine of Cups Reversed. Um, Knight of Wands reversed. All right, so what I see happening here. Wow, okay, so with the Two of Wands reversed right behind that. So you're choosing a path forward, but you're not jumping on it yet. We have the Knight of Wands reversed. I feel as if you're holding off on something that you, um, you know you want to move forward on. With the Nine of Cups here in reverse, there has, here it is in the upright, but it came out reversed. I feel as though there was no wish fulfillment someplace in your life and you're considering another option possibly with the hermit here reversed you've already taken the time to go within you've already looked at it very deeply you know where you want to go you know what you want to do three of wands as we come into your reading you're getting ready to set off on that journey see this person shining the light on the journey ahead you're getting ready to take off all right you're seeing things more clearly with the Seven of Cups reversed. You're manifesting in, uh, something in a situation where you feel like there's a drain, lack of abundance, lack of confidence. Something's going on here. You feel very drained. You're man trying to manifest something different in. With the lovers here, this could be a love relationship, but it could merely be a decision that needs to be made. Five of Pentacles, you're coming out of a time it's reversed. When you were feeling really left out in the cold, very abandoned, very, um, it's a, it's a time of feeling like you're on your own, but not by choice. All right. Now we have the King of Swords right next to that. So if you're a man, you're coming through as the King of Swords, you could have Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini in your chart. 
if you're a woman, you could be dealing with this man. You, Whichever you are, whether you are this man or you're dealing with this man, I feel as though this is directly related. Um, this Five of Pentacles being right in the middle of your reading, you're now starting to realize that you're coming out of this cold place you were at, feeling um, neglected in some way due to this man. Now, if you are this man, you're feeling like you're coming out of a time where you were very left out in the cold by someone else. Um, I will say Gemini's coming through strong in this reading. We have, now this could be in someone's chart as well. We have the Lovers, the Magician, and the King of Swords. All can be Gemini. King of Swords can really be Aquarius or Libra as well. So keep that in mind, guys. Doesn't You don't have to apply these signs at all. Just listen to the story, and that's really what's most important, especially with a general read for so many people. We have the Ten of Wands reversed here. Here it is in the upright, but you have it in reverse. So I feel as though you're getting ready to dump some burdens because you're ready to set off on some journey here. With the Ace of Cups, I feel like it's going to be brand new. You're heading towards something brand new. Again, feeling really drained, feeling really um, this lack of abundance here with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Somewhere in your foundation, something has been turned upside down. Um, it could be directly involved with another person here. Now, like I said, if you're a lady or another man, it's directly involved with this King of Swords. If you are the King of Swords, it's someplace else in your life, which we'll get to the bottom of, okay? So, Capricorns, just keep in mind, if you're a man, I feel like this is you coming out as the King of Swords. If you're a lady, I feel like you're dealing with this man. All right, now, anyone can be coming out in the King of Swords energy doesn't they don't have to be um aquarius libra or gemini they're just coming out in that energy of a king of swords straightforward cuts to the chase he is coming out in the upright so i feel that he's being honest about something um and he's pretty much um like i said king of swords will pretty much speak his truth all right so let's find out now he's not coming out reversed but as we clarify, we could find out that there's something going on here with this man. Now, if you are this man, Gemini man, um, you look good. All right, so spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most that will be guided to watch this reading on YouTube. What are the most important messages here? It's the Capricorn reading for January 1st to the 11th, 2019. What are the most important messages? For anyone with Capricorn placements, what do we need to know about the Seven of Cups? You're seeing something clearly. The Seven of Cups is reversed, so this is clarity being gained of, in some situation. Why is the Seven of Cups reversed here, please? Okay. We got the High Priestess in the upright. All right, you're seeing it. Definitely. This is a whole lot of seeing it. The High Priestess see thing, sees things. She knows things. And the Seven of Cups reversed means clarity has come in. Whatever is going on here, you know it. You are picking it up intuitively. You're also seeing it clearly. Let's look at the Magician. What are you manifesting here? Why is the Magician here? Capricorn reading. Two of Swords reversed. Yeah. You absolutely know what you want to do here. You are now seeing things clearly and able to make a choice. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Why is that here? Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Nine of Pentacles reverse, please. Capricorn reading. Nope. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Capricorn reading. What's important here, please? Absolutely. You've chosen the path you want to go down. I mean, I keep getting the repeated things here. Three of Cups reversed. There's been something unhappy here. Whatever happened here that caused you this drain, it's not been a happy situation, and you know what you want to do about it. Let's look at the lovers. Why is the lovers here? This is a choice as well. Why is the lovers here? The lovers can be just a choice that needs to be made. Sometimes, yes, it's in a love situation. 
Yep, absolutely. You have the knight, uh, I'm sorry, the page of wands. This is something new. I think you're heading towards something brand new with the page of wands and the ace of cups here. And you might be getting some kind of information. Possibly, look, I mean, I have to say it. Some of this is your intuition. See, this, this page is getting information from the universe. So is the high priestess. Some of this is your information coming in from the universe. Some of you might be actual, actually getting physical information, but for some of you, you're getting this information straight from the universe and your intuition. All right, let's look at the Five of Pentacles reversed here. Why is the Five of Pentacles in the reverse here, please? Capricorn reading. Why is Five of Pentacles in reverse? Oops, sorry guys, I'm dropping them everywhere. Okay, Five of Pentacles. Why is it in reverse? Just one or two cards. Five of Pentacles reversed for the Capricorn. Oh, there it goes. All right, we got three, but... They came out with vengeance, so I feel they needed to be here. Yeah, here you are. go again. Same card, dropping the burdens. Ten of wands. You're sick of t having to walk on eggshells, and you never know what's coming at you. All right, you're done with it, and that's why you've been feeling left out in the cold, but you're done. This is all done, done, done. Now we have here judgment and the three of pentacles. I feel as though, see this three of pentacles? It's that endless loop of something that keeps happening over and over again. I feel like you're making a judgment call about that. And you're being guided by your spirit guides. You're being guided by the universe to make a judgment call here on what's been going on. To get yourself out of that lack mentality and um, no longer carrying those burdens. You're doing it. Whatever it is, you're, you're absolutely doing this. All right. That's an important point of your reading as well. The center of your reading. King of Swords. Why is it here? Why is this King of Swords here, please? Capricorn reading. This could be your own truth and clarity, no matter what gender you are. I'm just curious. Eight of Pentacles, it's about work for some of you. For some of you, you are getting some kind of truth, clarity. Uh, like I said, for some of you, this isn't a person. It's an energy. For some of you, it's definitely a person. But for some of you, this is about work. And you're getting some kind of truth and clarity around the situation that's been really unhappy. A lot of this clarity is coming through your own knowing, your own intuition. Your spirit guides are definitely involved here, trying to help you stop something that keeps going on and on. Ten of Wands reversed. Why is it here? Yep, definitely. See this person looking back? This person's looking back at all of the cups behind him, and the moon is illuminating the past on what has happened here. He's grieving something from the past, but he's like taking that last look at it, and he's going to dump the burdens with the Ten of Wands. He's ready. He or she. Okay, just because they put a man in this picture doesn't mean it's a man. Somebody's looking back on everything, and they're like, no, I'm done. I'm dumping burdens. There's a lot of dumping burdens in your reading. And a lot of forward movement to something new. Why is the Ace of Cups here, please? Capricorn reading. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Now, for some of you, this might not be work. It's something you've been working on, possibly with this man. Okay, so keep that in mind. If it's not about work for you, it's story's still the same. All right, why is the Eight of Cups... Uh, I'm sorry, the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Capricorn reading for January 1st to the 11th, 2020. Why is the Eight Wow. Oh my gosh. You guys aren't going to believe this. We have the two cards that mean the exact same thing, but one's in the upright and one's not. Hopes, wishes, and dreams. Both of them mean the same thing, but your star came out in reverse. I feel as though you're healing from something that you really wanted. This was wish fulfillment for you. You're healing from it and you're going after something brand new. One thing didn't work out and you're going towards another. All right. Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles reversed here, please, Capricorn reading? Ten of Pentacles, why is it here reversed? Strength reversed, Nine of Swords reversed. This has been really draining for you. This Strength reverse reminds me a lot of this Nine of Pentacles reversed. Very draining. Oops, so sorry. Um, very draining. You've been very drained. Your confidence has been hit. 
All right, so this unhappy situation, three of cups reversed, unhappy situation has made you really lose your strength in a situation. You feel as though you're, you're totally being drained here. Absolutely. It's been very stressful, but look, you're coming out of it. Your nine of swords is in the reverse. You're doing something about it. I can clearly see you're doing something to get yourself out of this stressful, upside down situation. Whatever this has been that's been going on, I feel as though you're moving towards something new because there was no wish fulfillment there. But in the new thing, person, place, or thing, there could be wish fulfillment there and you're going to move towards it. You're getting ready. Whatever this is, you're getting ready to sprint forward. I feel as though you're not quite ready yet because you have the full in reverse here at the bottom of your deck, which means you're not quite ready yet. But that full will turn in the upright. I can see it coming. All right, let's get you some after tarot and see where this is going. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please tell us what comes next for this Capricorn reading. Uh, January 1st through the 11th, 2019, what comes next for anyone that resonated with this reading? What comes next in this situation? What comes next here for anyone that resonated with this reading? Yeah, absolutely. What comes next here, please? Nope, too many. Too many. What comes next here, please? Capricorn reading. What comes next? Beginning of January. Whoa. Too many are flying out. We're going to do that again. What comes next here for Capricorn? Yeah, there we go. All right. Somebody might tell you something that get you out of your head. With all I've seen here in your reading, this can actually be your spirit guides coming in to let you know something that's going to get you out of your trapped feeling in your mind, not knowing everything. See, this person's blindfolded. Again, there was a lot of things going on here that seemed like you didn't have all the information, but intuitively you're getting it. Um, you're going to, you're going to definitely heal from something. There was something that was really, um, a lack of wish fulfillment here it was painful it hurt whatever this is it's left you feeling a little bit down but you're gonna heal from it because look then your nine of, your nine of cups comes in and gives you that wish fulfillment and something brand new all right now the first one that popped out was the king of cups I feel like this is you dumping out that cup remember I told you I felt like something old had to go and something new see it back here there's another cup feel like something new is coming in for you that's going to help in your situation. You may actually have to stick up for yourself in some situation with the Knight of Swords here. Let's get you some angel cards. Angels, what do you want Capricorn to focus on here for this reading? What do you want them to focus on? One more, please. Flexibility, tenderness, and truth. Wow, okay. So, even though you might have to stick up for yourself, you might also have to be a little flexible, guys. All right. Um, tenderness, I always feel like this is be nice with yourself. This doesn't mean be nice to anybody who hurt your feelings or did something bad to you. This is more about be tender with yourself, be flexible, and there's truth coming in. You know, which is something I think you were looking for. You were tapping into the truth in your own on your own a lot of working with the universe is going on here guys um so please guys reach out to me let me know if you feel like this was your reading if it resonated with you um please like share subscribe have a beautiful new year um i'm wishing you many blessings happiness and love surrounded by family and friends please don't drink and drive again that warnings come to me from spirit to give to you guys please please be careful Guys, have a great new year. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.